There is a, uh, a new uh, update to the Gibbs Save Editor, and this one is specifically for the new Borderlands pre-sequel. I'm just going to get into it and uh, see what it has to offer. It's not really a tutorial in as much as it is showing you um, what is available in regards to uh, editing your save file. In this case, I like the Gibbs Save Editor because it has a reasonably good user interface. Um, so yeah, it's informal. I'm having fun. Because if I don't have fun, I'm not going to do this. But I will put date stamps on the key parts of the video. So look in the description for that, okay? So um, if you go to the site, and the, the uh, link will be in the description, um, it is at version uh, it says 7. Um, so I already have it right here. And again, this one is for uh, the new uh, pre-release, or pre-sequel, the Borderlands pre-sequel. Um, I made a separate folder for it, so I would know, because I'm not, I'm not gonna use this. Actually, I, I, I uninstalled uh, uh, Borderlands 2, which is fine, because you know my save file are in, are in the cloud. Um, my character, I just started, so he's, he's pretty low on the totem pole. I forget what level he's at. Yeah, I'm at level 9. And I chose uh, Wilhelm. Uh, so this is actually new to me. I just saw it on the site. So this is actually new. Uh, this new save editor. Um, this new version of it. I mean, it pretty much looks the same. You have your... Uh, the save uh, GUI ID or whatever it's called. Save slot. It's for PC. I think he warns... Maybe just to use this on the PC. Um, I don't know. It might be iffy if you use it on a, a 360 or PlayStation. But, uh, you know, as always, back up your stuff. That, that, that's, that's good to do. Um, since I actually am interested in playing the game, I'm not going to mess with my level. I'm also not going to mess with my experience, point, experience points, even though I already have... But I use something else to do it. Uh, that's that's for another time. <laughs> that, that'll open up a whole new can of worms if I try to do it right now, since this is about the Gib Save Editor. Um, so it looks like we have our skins. Uh, again, I don't. I'm not really familiar with all this stuff. Uh, the head, the Starhawk, whatever. Um, hacker. Ooh, hacker. Um, it pretty much looks the same. We have this stuff. These are just for the, uh, the vehicles. So you got your general, the character. Kind of, kind of, almost like the the data that you probably wouldn't be seeing. You'd be looking at this. So Wilhelm the Enforcer. I named him Wilhelm. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, we have overpower levels, or is that just generic? I mean, yeah. We'll see what happens. That'd be cool. They just start doing that with every. Uh, every version of more oh I think this is the final version of, of in the Borderlands saga it may be so anyway um, let's get over to the fun stuff uh, we have our currency again look how much currency I have I did uh, edit my file earlier with something else but it wasn't this it was it was it was with a uh, uh, something else that um, still works but it's not as comprehensive as the save editor it just it's just good for editing um you know what you see here and i did it with something called cheat engine i will perhaps make a separate video on using cheat engine but that's what i use to uh, change it and when you use cheat engine you have to change it on the fly uh when the game is running it's not something where you edit a save file you're actually editing uh you're basically hooking the memory in real time and editing it which can bring up some very interesting effects like crashing your game because, you know, messing with memory addresses uh, and they tend to change when something changes in the game and then uh, something is looking for a memory address and if it's changed, it says, hey, I don't know what to do. I think I'll crash. Uh, so anyway, yeah, my currency. I gave myself a whole bunch of moonstones, which haven't been uh, helpful yet because I'm uh, 
Not really. Well, actually, I guess they have. Use them. You moonstones replaced uh, iridium, so in this game. So actually, I did. I, I bought some stuff from uh, from Earl. Okay, got the backpack. Got nothing in the bank. I didn't put anything in the bank. There's the raw stuff again. I'm not gonna mess with that. But I am interested in seeing what um, I do when I alter this one weapon that I that I did pick up from, uh, I guess, the first boss. And I kind of forgot what it's for. I mean, what it's called. <laughs> I think it is the laser thingy. Let's see, because I have two. Yeah, I have two uh, equipped. Yeah, yeah. The flashpoint spitter, which kind of looks like a... I think this is, this is the one that looks like a railgun, I think. And then this one is almost like a, uh, almost reminds you of um, this alternating, uh, hold on, let's, let's get that, sorry. This, um, uh, I get it, alternating Van den Graffen, like a Van den Graff generator. <laughs> um, that almost looks like a uh, uh, Ghostbusters gun, proton gun. And the flash spitter, flashpoint splitter, that, I think that that's the one that looks like a, uh, a rail gun. Uh, I do like electricity, so so let, let's mess with it. Let's mess with it. Let's see what we got. See what we got. It's shock, definitely. I, you know what? I think this is one of those ones that's like a, uh, for example, the um, the binary thunderball fist in the previous game, where it's that's all this thing does. It does electricity. I mean, that's what it is. So I'm gonna tell it none, so that it does. You know how I do. Electricity and uh, explosive. And that'll be weird. Or I might... I might See, this is the part where you, where you should save your shit. <laughs> this, my gun might disappear. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Uh, just in case. I'm going to... Uh, copy the code... I wonder if I just do this or I just put it in the bank. If it, if it put it in the bank, hold on. No, okay. I'm gonna uh, paste the code. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in the bank just in case, uh, unaltered. So let, let's let's go back to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if I corrupt my file, that that's one thing. But yeah. Uh, let's see. So let's let's change that to none, and then um, I actually want to play with people right now. I don't mind, uh, uh, even though I just began playing with other people. I, I some games I'd rather play solo when I first play them, and then I'll go on and play them. But I don't know. I, over the years, I guess I actually like playing with uh, with other with groups of people when it, when it comes to video games. I I, I usually stay away there's some titles that i've actually not bought because of um they were just solo there is no uh cooperative gameplay which i, I don't know I, my, my brain's wired for that okay let's see oh oh you know what this stuff is this accessory these are like attributes that can go to your gun um from what i know again i'm an i'm a noob at this um this version of the game, uh, there's the grinder that you can put your gun in, and then it will give it attributes. It's basically like you, you're able to hack your gun, and uh, I think that's what this is. Piercing rounds, Punisher. So again, because I'm not as familiar with this, I'm just totally messing around with it. Piercing rounds, that's cool. I wonder what Punisher does. Let's see what that does. See some of the stuff I'm not gonna mess with because we're just taking it slow here. Front grip. Those are the grips. Laser body. Whatever. Um, unique laser. Legendary. Ooh. Unique laser. See, it says unique. I wonder, what if I make it legendary? I'm a, I'm a little, yeah, see. 
five Tesla legendary Tesla <laughs> wait what level am I at hold on let me remind myself I'm at level nine I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up I'm gonna bump it up to level nine because that's where I'm at Because because the guy the guy that I killed he he's he's kind of early on so all right let's save it <laughs> oh crap <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna screw myself over okay um this is easy because can't replace it this is easy because I edit that's not my save file from the first one okay so I have my stuff in the bank um actually you know what let's sync all let's sync everything. So that all my stuff is uh, at the right level. So you'll notice I am not um, I am not trying to bypass everything in the game altogether because that would take the fun out of playing it. This stuff that I'm doing now is actually um, more interesting after you've played the game through because then you can just you know you're just having fun. You're not you're not you're not trying to because uh, uh, you know. It, 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 it's like it's like one of those people that they'll, they'll like do a speed run in the game, and I'm talking like you just got the game. You're just going to do a speed run through the game and complete it in an insane amount of time. It's like well, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Supposed to enjoy it because they said that the solo mission of this game is 14 hours alone, and then you're going to be like, I got through the game in an hour. And you're just like, you know, I spent eighty dollars on this game, man. That includes the game plus the season pass, and and. And I'm going to purposely try to complete it as fast as possible? I don't think so. That ain't going to happen. Anyway, so that's that. Let's go into the game. Here's my character, Wilhelm. We're going to, uh, we're going to get into it. Sorry, here it is. So... So let, let's look at the stats. Let's see if we can do that. Let's look at it. Now, I I think this is one of the ones that's like hard coded to uh, do some kind of electrical damage, and I had taken that away. It's still doing it, plus something else. Um, the damage isn't that much because, although it is for this character, but overall on the game it's not because I'm only level 9, but uh, let's kill some things. Warning, entering vacuum. I'm in the middle of a mission, but let's try to, let's try to find something to kill. Let's see if there's any guys over here. I think they respawned because I went through here before and I killed some guys. I saw somebody. Okay, let's 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 say hi to this guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> hold on. It moves very slow. slow-moving orb. Hey, what's that? Oh, yeah, hold on. Get that moonstone. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> well, as you can see, they're being electrified. So it shoots some slow-moving orbs that will uh, mess some stuff up. Let's see what it does to these uh, crack, uh, Kragen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a... Uh... Hello, little guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, uh, they're gone. Well, that's pretty much it. Thing. 
just it just has to go within the general vicinity then it'll uh it'll do an arc that will uh, come in contact with anything close proximity wait a minute hold on Let's see if I can jump hold on Let's see uh, thing about this you use your um, your oxygen supply for your uh, minor thrust so if you don't have enough oxygen you try to jump across a chasm like that you might not make it uh oh <laughs> I released my uh Special attack where they got me. Oh, just to show you that I am pure evil. Um, let's go to our uh, our skills. I'm level nine, but you notice something? Um, yeah, they're all pretty much filled out. I'm not going to do too much more with it. <laughs> I, I, and, I, and I'm going to make up another character, but it's once uh, once I can get some, um, I'll be able to play with other players when it actually officially comes out where I am. Hopefully it'll be fixed unless something's wrong with my game. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, I leveled up. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, see it it uh it arcs. So if it if it goes near the middle, uh it'll hit him. That's cool. This is better than therapy! This is better than therapy. I guess I got used to uh Enemy ready for shattering! Using weapons where you didn't have to be that accurate because of gauge. Because she she has really bad aim. Oh, double kill. It went in between them and it arced. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alright, that's good enough. Hold on, one more thing. Let's, let's use that skill point. Ah, oh, actually, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do this one. This one is good. If somebody uh, hits you, there's a chance that they'll get explosive feedback. That's pretty cool. What's it called? Kinetic armor. It increases your maximum health. Additionally, close-range attackers have a chance to be struck by an explosive feedback. The closer the enemy is to you, the more likely he is to be struck. That's pretty cool. Oh, anyway, whatever. I'll get that later. Or add some more to it later. Well, hope you found that informative. 